So today I was called out to put up an antenna here in Grants Pass. I was getting ready to install one of these UHF antennas. Well, it's actually UHF and VHF, just low gain on the VHF band. Anyway, I noticed the woman already had a satellite dish on the side of the house that was kind of pointed in the direction that I want to pick up the signals. Now, you can't use a satellite dish of itself to pick up the signals because, of course, the LNB is not going to allow the TV signals to go through. But I was able to take a little loop like this, just a little copper loop of wire. I attached it to the existing cable and uh, tried various uh, ways of pointing it, pulling it up like this, pulling it down like this, like this. I got the best signals of all, believe it or not. So that's all I had to do to convert it. Now, if you're converting one of these antennas or using the existing wire, one thing you want to keep in mind is that a lot of times there's going to be a little device in between. It looks like a splitter. It's called a diplexer. This is just a splitter here, so we don't have to worry about it. But I've seen this on two or three occasions now where you wonder why no TV signal is able to pass through the coax. And it's got a, a diplexer in between that's designed to block the TV signals. So we don't have to worry about that here. It's just for one TV anyway, so ran my own wire going through the wall here. But uh, anyway, yeah, there we have it. Just a little loop of wire put up there on the end of the antenna. And I'm telling you, the signals are really strong. It's amazing how strong they are. But, you know, in this neighborhood, it's no great surprise. I mean, look look where I'm at. I'm like, I can actually see the TV transmitter tower, or one of them, up on this mountain here. So, I mean, you can't go wrong around here. So, anyway, if you live in the right neighborhood, just about anything's possible in the wave antennas. There you have it.